Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know I haven't really been uploading much and talking about TSW information for the past week, and my apologies for that. To make up for this, today I'm going to be going over all of the important information from the past week that all of you should know. Before we get into this video, I'm going to ask all of you to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, if you would like to support me even further, consider becoming a channel member with the link in the description below. With all that said and done, let's get into it. Starting off, we have the delay to the West Cornwall local route. It was announced by DTG on the 20th of October, the day before its scheduled release. Some players in certain time zones, such as the AEST time zone in Australia, were able to download and play the route early. Other players, such as those in America and the UK, were not able to download and play the route. I'm glad DTG chose to hold the release of the West Cornwall local route because 1. I think there was a bit too many DLCs being released as of late and 2. It shows that they are willing to hold third party developers accountable for their mistakes and don't want them to release a route in a horrible state, ruining the games and the third party devs reputation and image. Hopefully this means that some of the inaccurate scenery along the route will be replaced with some more accurate models and that the route will release in a good state, unlike some of Rivet Games' previous releases. Recently, on the October 19th, 2021 roadmap, DTG announced a new route. This route, set in Germany, will span nearly 80 kilometers between the two cities of Dresden and Chemnitz. This new route will release with a DBBR143, which we've seen in previous routes like Rursi Ignored and more recently Risa to Dresden. The route will also release with an all new train, and this train is the DBBR612. This will be the first German diesel multiple unit in the game, and it also brings a new type of train to the game with this train having tilting technology. Hopefully, this will pave the way for more tilting trains to be featured in TSW, such as the Class 390 Pendolino, the DBBR 411, also known as the ICET, and the Amtrak Acela. It is unclear at this time if this route will have a connection to the Risa to Dresden route, although players are holding out hope for it to happen. This route will feature the full S3 line of the Dresden S-Bahn, running between Freiburg and Dresden Hopanoff. The route, as it was just recently announced, is currently in the in-production section of the roadmap. Moving from something that was just announced to something that was just released, we have the Class 313 Loco add-on for the East Coastway route. This train unfortunately will not substitute in for the Class 377-4, but will rather outright replace it on the Brighton to Seaford services. While unrealistic, DTG has stated that this is due to the game substitution system not working properly with the two trains, being that they have a different number of cars. In my opinion, this does kind of spell out that the substitution system needs an overhaul if it's going to continue to take away from having realistic operations along the various routes in the game. When using the new timetable, you'll only see Class 313s on the Seaford branch, and Class 377s on the Eastbourne branch. The Class 313, even though its parent route is East Coastway, will appear on the Bryan Main Line, also known as the London Commuter Route. The 313s will run various empty stock operations to depots and yards along the route. I'm not too sure if it will run any passenger or AI services on the route though. Please note that only next gen console players and PC players will be able to enjoy the Class 313 on London Commuter. For any other players, the 313 will be locked to the East Coastway route. And finally, this week's update to the game. This new update fixed various issues on Boston Sprinter, such as the speedometer on the F40PH, performance improvements, and animation fixes. The update also included changes to other routes, with those routes being East Coastway and London Commuter, with some fixes to the audio on the class 377 and 387. Although, it was noted that we may not notice any changes, which kind of tells me that nothing was fixed. For East Coastway, we have the long-awaited addition of the Rush Hour Passenger System, which DTG is slowly rolling out on more and more routes in the game, even though their flagship route, London Commuter, still doesn't have it. 
If you enjoyed this recap of the past week in TSW, like the video and leave a comment telling me if you would like to see more of these types of videos in the future. I'll catch all of you in the next video. Happy Railfanning. Thank you.